So I'm standing here in front of 58 Fairfield Lane. As everybody knows, right now uh, we cannot be showing homes um, due to the coronavirus. However, that doesn't mean that you cannot see the homes. So I am about to take you on a guided walking tour through this home so you can see every room as if you were walking through it as a buyer. So here we go. We're going to go right inside and I'm going to narrate as we go along. Okay, this is a Cape house, four bedrooms, two full baths. Okay, as soon as you walk in, immediately to your left, you see a living room, beautifully refinished hardwood floors. You'll see that it is nice and bright. We do have a formal dining room right here. There's some nice built-in cabinets right over here. Right next to that, we do have a eat-in kitchen. There is room for a little dining table in the back over there. And behind that, you do have a enclosed back porch. And we can go around into this dining room from the other way as well. Okay, back into the living room. Beautiful, bright, sunny day. Okay, now, you get into the kitchen, immediately to the right, you get into the nice hallway. This is where you're gonna get to the two bedrooms that are on the main floor. Okay, this here is the master bedroom. I'm gonna back it up a little so you guys can have a look at it. There are two windows here. There are actually two closets here as well. Okay. house now if you guys take a look online there's another closet here as well but I do actually have a 360 virtual tour of every single room in this house uh, so you can take a look as if you're standing in the middle of the room and get a real view of what the room looks like from inside but this is the second bedroom okay again floors are nicely finished okay and again two windows in this room as well okay so generally pretty bright lots of good airflow this is the first full bath this is on the first floor okay. okay we're gonna back out and go back out to the living room and we're going to head up the stairs and I'm going to show you guys the two other bedrooms and the full bath so that is the full bath on the second floor I'm going to take a shot of that while I'm here since we're taking a look at that already Okay, so that is the bathroom on the second floor. Let's turn to the left and show you one of the bedrooms in here. Again, nice and sunny, nice and bright, two windows. Okay. Again, sunny, lots of airflow during the day, during the nice spring and summer days. You can get some nice breeze through here. There's a little bit of storage back here. I'm not gonna pry that off, but there is some storage in the space back there. And that faces the front of the house over there. Nice built-in storage space. And I'm gonna walk into the second bedroom. Okay, this is the second bedroom. Also a pretty good size and nice and sunny. Two windows in this room as well and uh, a ceiling fan. 
obviously it was a kid's room at one point. And uh, there's the closet over there. So that is the two bedrooms upstairs and the full bath. We're gonna go back downstairs now and to show you the basement. Um, before I do that, I do want to give you a quick look out here. Beyond the kitchen, there is an enclosed porch. Uh, it is not heated, so it is not considered living space, but there is plenty of storage back there. And that is a nice little bonus feature to have. All right, we're gonna go downstairs to the basement. Basement is, I'm gonna call it semi-finished. Uh, there's a floor, there's walls. Uh, it isn't really living space, uh, but there's a ton of potential over here. You could do a lot with it if you chose to do so. This was their workshop at one point. Uh, as you can see, the whole basement is bone dry. There's not any moisture down here at all. All right, so this is the workshop. This we go into the main area of the basement right over here. It is a big space. A lot that you could do with this. Okay, there are windows down here. Right now they're blocked off uh, with insulation. Uh, lots of built-in storage over here. Um, it's removable if you don't want it, but it's there for you guys. And um, going in towards the laundry room over here. Lots of extra storage. This is the space underneath the stairs. And uh, actually, if you look to your left over here, there is a room at one point. I believe there was a half bath down here, but since there's no paperwork for it, it's not legal, so that's been removed. But if you guys choose to do something with it, um, it's, the space is already there. Okay, got your laundry room here, washer and dryer. And... Here's your boiler room. Okay, you got a Wild McLean furnace. Those last about 45 years if they are maintained properly. Uh, you have a 50 gallon hot water heater over here as well. And again, some extra storage space. Closet, you wanna hang some clothes up here. Uh, the space is definitely available to do that. Okay. So that is basically the basement of this house. Um, there is electric baseboard heating over here that is controlled by a thermostat, which is right over there on the wall. Okay, so that is electric uh, in case it gets a little cool down here. So with that being said, um, I believe I'm just going to take you out to the backyard so you can have a look around there. And that will conclude our tour of this beautiful house okay here we are okay this is that uh, enclosed back porch that I told you guys about I showed you earlier do have a handicap ramp here the uh, previous owner was elderly uh, this can be removed Okay, we can certainly have it removed prior to closing if that's something that you guys don't want to have. Uh, we do have a one and a half car garage here. Okay, I'm calling it a half because you can actually fit one car in here, assuming that the handicap ramp is taken away and you can pull the car in. There is a garage over here and there is a storage built right next to it on the left over there. Okay. All right, so that is the garage. Standard one car garage. There is electric in there. There is a light switch, so that's always good to have. All right. You got a storage shed over here, uh, which is legal, by the way. Um, I do have paperwork for that. And this is the backyard. Okay, the backyard is a pretty decent size. Uh, they have the uh, composting unit over there. Okay. Um, Alright, and this is 
pretty much the back of the house. They have a nice spigot out here for outdoor hose. And uh, we're back out to the side of the house. And that's one final shot of the backyard. That concludes the tour of this house at 58 Fairfield Lane. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to show the house personally until the governor gives us the okay to do so. Uh, but I hope this tour helps. If you guys, um, again, have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Okay, have a great day, folks.